Hey, publish your journey videos a day. Um, so today, um, you know, recently I'm moving on with AI, you know, and I built my publishing business, my brand, working with real life everyday experts and freelancers. And it's been a great experience. But um, if I work with people, I want, I'm looking for three things. And the freelancer has to have all three things. Number one, they need to have a topic. Number two, they need to have real life expertise in that topic. And number three, they need to have excellent writing. If you have one out of three or two out of three, it's not enough. You have to have all three. And unfortunately, you know, that's the way it is. Or else the book, no matter how good of an expert you are at your topic, if you are not able to communicate that through writing, the book, then the book is going to be bad. It's not only bad for my brand, but it's also bad for your branding. So for that reason, I have to pass. Some writers who are excellent at what they do, but I find out through the samples, you know, I go through step by step through table of contents, then a chapter one, and I just check. A good place to check is on a website called Grammarly.com. It'll show you the overall writing score. If the writing score is below 80%, generally speaking, I'm going to have to pass because I want high quality writing from the get-go. Okay. A lot of times, if it's under 80%, there's a lot of grammatical errors. The writing is not, you know, up to par according to a Grammarly score. And that's just been my experience. A lot of times when I see uh, content that's lower score on Grammarly it translates to lower reviews on Amazon so it's not it's not only bad for me and my brand but it's also bad for the writer's brand every time people google their name they're gonna have one or two or three star reviews attached to their name and so it's actually helpful that I'm actually not working with the writers if I find out their you know writing has a lower score so sometimes I have to do that. Sometimes, you know, initially I'm excited uh, to work with all the freelancers I hire because, you know, from the cover letter answers, I see the three things I'm looking for. Excellent topic, um, expertise, real life experience in that topic, and number three, a good cover letter answers. But the cover letter answer doesn't translate to writing a book all the time, okay? Uh, the real test is, let me see the chapter one. If chapter one of, of a solid chapter and it still gets, you know, 70% or lower on the Grammarly uh, website, it has a lot of grammatical errors and, you know, it's just very difficult. That's why I like to go step by step. I don't ask for the whole book all at once because if I do, you know, it's a waste of time for them and waste of time for me. So I like to go with table contents first when I, you know, when I work with real life freelancers. And if the, the, the table of contents is not good, you know, I'll give you another chance to improve the table of contents, you know, and because I wanted to make sure it's a table of contents that, that covers all aspects of this topic in a very structured, organized, and step-by-step -step systematic way. And as you can see, now I'm using AI. So my content, my table of contents, and my content is even more structured it's even more organized. It's even more detailed. It's even more comprehensive. So the quality of the book, with all due respect to all the freelancers, and some have done excellent. And some work, uh, some freelancers I work with have done an excellent job. And it will show through the book. It will show five-star reviews attached to their name for the book. But some haven't. And that's the lesson I've learned over the years of being a publisher at an independent level. You can't just work with anyone everyone just because they have one of the criterias or two of the criterias you need three all three of the criterias topic expertise and excellent writing if one is missing the book will not it won't be good for anyone it won't be good for my brand it won't be good for the writer it won't be good for the readers so that's why i like to see from the table of contents in chapter one if it's not up to par I'm going to have to cancel the project, unfortunately, or fortunately. And I see it as a fortunate way because at the end of the day, me canceling the project will save their reputation, the freelancer's reputation. I know some freelancers, they're like, oh, I want to finish a book. I understand that. But me.
me canceling the project, which I'm going to be honest, I won't go into too much detail, that I had to do today, unfortunately. I did not want to. I give uh, a lot of chances, but the book was not up to par. It got a low uh, score on Grammarly. There was a lot of grammatical errors and just like the basic stuff that you assume that almost all freelancers I work with that I approve, they, they make sure everything's good to go. Every little detail, including the file name of the Word document, just the, just the basic grammar, it has to be right. The sentences have to be right. The sen uh, spelling has to be right. The grammar has to be right. And then I do a final test on Grammarly. It, you know, it's a low score. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to pass. And unfortunately, I had to do that with a particular freelancer, and I won't mention, you know, who it is, but I had to because. The writing wasn't good. It was an excellent. The person had an excellent real life experience in a topic. Okay, excellent. And it was a good topic. I go for all topics from A to Z. But the writing just it didn't come out right. You know, and I only looked at chapter one, and I gave multiple chances after chances, even after past the deadline. But that's just not the reality of things. You know, I'm a publisher just because I'm an everyday person doesn't mean I just approve every, anyone and everyone. I cannot. Or else it's not just bad for me, my brand, for the book. It's not only bad for the readers, but it's also bad for the freelancer. Because when people look up the book that you wrote that I hired you to write for my brand, it'll be one star, two star.